hello there welcome back to the new lecture so in this lecture we are going to discuss about fresh air calculation in hvac system so after the end of this lecture you would be able to understand what is fresh air intake in hvac system then we have to see the calculation that how to calculate the fresh air cfm so let's start so what is fresh air intake in hvac system so in simple language you can say that atmospheric air sucked by machine is called as fresh air okay so as part of your hvac system a fresh air intake is an opening that lets outside air into your house it serves several purposes but its main function are to improve your home's indoor air quality and help your furnace work if it effectively okay so this, this fresh air is a necessity for both physical and mental health in some building if indoor air is recirculated due to which impurities may be breathed in again and again which includes indoor pollution and higher level of carbon dioxide level so this create poor indoor air quality to avoid this fresh air is supplied as per the number of occupants and the area of the space okay so there are lots of benefits of having a fresh air intake on your hvac system first of all uh, with the help of this fresh air we can improve indoor air quality and we can reduce the energy cost and you can also reduce the number of pollutants in the building and you can improve the efficiency of the hvac system by providing fresh air okay so according to ashray 62.1 2004 ventilation standard to find out the fresh air cfm here we have a formula cfm per person into number of people plus cfm per square feet into area so by using this formula we have to calculate the fresh air so now here i have taken one question to calculate the fresh air cfm okay so in that question see what is written we have to calculate the fresh air for classroom for age of 9 plus of area 600 square feet okay so here we have a classroom in that classroom plus age ages students are sitting and the total area of that classroom is 600 square feet so to find out the fresh air cfm all of you know here we have a formula what is the formula as per ashray ventilation standard fresh air cfm cfm is the imperial unit of air flow rate okay cubic feet per minute okay and the metric unit is what meter cube per second so here we are working in imperial unit okay so we are using the unit cfm so fresh air cfm is equal to cfm per person into number of people plus cfm per square feet into area now here the question is this cfm per person we get from where so remember this value cfm per person value you will get from ashray ventilation standard okay i will show you the table also from uh, where we are taking this value okay next is written here number of people so this number of people how you can identify in our classroom how many number of people are there so first of all as per furniture layout when architecture will send you the architecture drawing so if there is furniture layout is given in that classroom okay so as per furniture layout we have to decide the number of people otherwise you have to ask with architect or interior decorator suppose if they have given you the detail is okay otherwise the last option is what from ashray ventilation standard you can easily calculate the number of people also as per area okay and spaces now the next is cfm per square feet so this value also you will get from the ashray ventilation standard and area is given in question because this area you will get from the autocad file okay easily by using the list command you can easily calculate the area of that space for which spaces you are calculating the fresh air okay so now here you can see the minimum ventilation in ashray ventilation standard only when you open this minimum ventilation rate in breathing zone table so here you will get see different option in first column they have given you the occupancy category then here 
you can see the cfm per percent value is given then cfm per square feet value from here you can take it so in our project in our question which i have shown you we have to calculate the fresh uh, cfm per person value na and cfm per square feet value for which area for which space so in first column you can see the occupancy category is given here you can see the classroom age 9 plus is written so so for classroom age 9 plus cfm per person value we have to take 10 and cfm per square feet value see 0.12 okay so same i am writing here now from table we get cfm per person value uh, for classroom 9 plus h 10 and cfm per square feet value we have calculated 0.12 now we have to calculate the number of people suppose here i am assuming i have not get the detail i uh, we do not have a furniture layout in the drawing okay and we have asked to architect or interior decorator they also not given the detail so from the ashray ventilation standard only we have to find out the number of people so here you have to remember the two point first your space so our space is classroom plus 9 ages and the area is total area of that space is 600 square feet now for 600 square feet how many people we have to consider so see here you can see in this table only in minimum ventilation rate in breathing zone when you see in this classroom age 9 plus here you can see occupant density column is given so in that column it is written for 1000 square feet area you have to consider 35 student for 1000 square feet area so as per your area because our classroom area is 600 square feet so for 600 square feet how much number of people we have to calculate okay so here i have written you can see for 1000 square feet as per ash we have to consider 35 number of people so our area is what our classroom area 600 square feet so for 600 square feet how much number of people so here i have taken let's say x so just do the cross multiplication and find out the value of x so finally we have got 21 it means what the number of people in classroom plus 9 ages how many 21 number of people okay so the number of people we have calculated now area in in formula you can see area is given 600 square feet now just use the formula to find out the fresh air cfm simple it is written you can see here cfm per person into number of people plus cfm per square feet into area just put all the value in that equation so finally here you will get how much 282 cfm this is our fresh air cfm so in this way you have to calculate the fresh air cfm for your space so this is all about fresh air calculation i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one